Coming out of the pandemic, APS is looking at spending tens of millions of dollars to fix up schools and get deeper into the school bus business. News 13's Chris McKee breaks down the projects the district is looking at. APS has at least four big projects on the horizon worth nearly $87 million combined. About half of that money would go toward replacing a school on Kirtland Air Force Base, but the pandemic is also causing big cost fluctuations. This is uh, an estimate today, we're not sure it, uh, what, what it's going to look like when we actually start construction, but costs are really starting to go up for uh, construction materials right now. Now, this is a rendering of the new Sandia Base Elementary School to replace the original school, which dates back to 1949. Some of the added costs include anti-terrorism features at that school because it is on base property. The feds may pay up to 80% of the $45 million project, though, if APS wins a grant. APS is also looking at a new two-floor, 12-classroom block for Jackson Middle School. That's a $15 million project and expected to start construction next year. Now, another $25 million would go towards what you see here, two bus depot projects, including a new complex on the west side near Unser and I-40 for about 200 buses and a massive $18 million remodel for a building along Osuna across from Calvary Church. That would be the district's main bus operations center, as APS is expecting that most private bus services will quit in the coming years. The district wants to redesign a lot of indoor space at that facility along Osuna and into something a few board members flagged today with COVID in mind. If this one went down, it would really cripple our entire system. Uh, we re rely on transportation for for so much. So um, I just I think we ought to just take a look at that and consider what we could do in an outdoor space as well. Now that main bus depot on Osuna and the Jackson Middle School classrooms, those are projects that are already funded. However, both the West Side Bus Depot and the Sandia Base Elementary projects are contingent on those federal funds we mentioned earlier and also funds that voters have within the school district. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now that voter funding will be on the ballot this November when APS has another bond election.